Here are the three most common mistakes people make when it comes to updating Final Cut Pro. And whether you're a beginner or expert, I promise you've made at least one of these mistakes. If you're like me, then you want to keep Final Cut up to date so that you can take advantage of all the new features and improvements. But sometimes it's not as easy as it seems and people can run into problems. In this video, you're going to get the newest, shiniest version of Final Cut Pro by stopping the three most common updating mistakes. I'll show you what to do instead so you can avoid losing your work, red error screens, and the inevitable headache that comes with updating Final Cut. Mistake number one, not backing up. This is a classic mistake that everyone makes. I've been there before. You're excited to get the newest version and play with the newest features. You don't have time to back up your work, so you update, and when you open a project, you've got errors everywhere, and you can't find your footage or something's broken. Oh, if you had just made a backup, you could go back to the previous version of Final Cut Pro. So instead of immediately updating, take a moment to back up your current copy of Final Cut Pro and your libraries. Your future self will thank you. Step one. Back up the app. Create a new folder in the Applications folder and name it with the version number. For example, name it Final Cut Pro 10.6.4. You can tell what version of Final Cut you have by opening the application and choosing About Final Cut from the menu. Back in the Applications folder, right-click on Final Cut Pro and select Compress. It's a big app, so give it a few minutes to finish. When done, move the Final Cut Pro.zip file into the folder you created and then move the folder to a backup drive. Step two, back up your libraries. The easiest way is to copy the library to another backup drive, but first you should consolidate your library. When you consolidate your library, you're bringing all of your media and files together in one place. In Final Cut Pro, select your library, open the file menu, and select Consolidate Library Media. To save space, uncheck Optimized and Proxy Media, and then click OK. Once the consolidation is done, copy and paste your library to a backup drive. You can also keep your app and libraries backed up with a full backup solution like Time Machine or Crash Plan. I use Crash Plan to back up my entire computer and external hard drives. It's worth it and will save you in a pinch. Mistake number two, updating in the middle of a project. This one is a big no-no. I know it's tempting to get the latest version while you're knee deep in a project. I've been there before. I have thought, maybe there's a new feature that will make the video I'm working on right now win an Oscar. <laughs> Turns out there's not a lot Final Cut Pro can do to make my vlog better than No Country for Old Men. It's a nearly perfect movie. If you update in the middle of a project, various apps and plugins you were using may not work after the update, or you might lose hours of work. So please, finish your current project before you update. However, if you insist, back up first. Mistake number three, never updating. Some people get so scared of updating that they never update. They're too worried something will go wrong, and before they know it, they're on an old version that is slow, doesn't support new features, and won't work with new apps and plugins. It's okay to wait a while to update, but don't wait too long. As soon as you're in a good spot, update Final Cut Pro. Open the App Store and click on the Update section. Find Final Cut Pro and click on Update, or click on Update All if you're ready to, you guessed it, update all your apps. You can also update from the Apple menu. Click the Apple icon and look for Available Updates. The number of Available Updates appears to the right of the App Store in the menu. Click App Store and then go to the Update section and click Update next to Final Cut Pro. Are you ready to update Final Cut Pro? Has this video been helpful? If so, hit that like button so others can see this video. Thank you. Bonus tip! You can keep Final Cut Pro and other apps up to date without lifting a finger with automatic updates. In the App Store, go to Preferences and enable Automatic Updates. Now, anytime a new version of Final Cut is released, it will automatically update on your computer. Be careful, this will update even when you're in the middle of a project. Personally, I have this turned on and have never had any problems, but you never know what might happen. Good luck! Now that you've learned how to update Final Cut Pro, you may want to check out this video my pal Chris made called How to Fix Grainy Footage in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.